Okay, we have here a DV502, which is installed on the Vacuum Atmospheres glove box, which I am now demoing. Um, we will do uh, an example of the evaporations with the left, rear, and right filament. And uh, just a couple controls here we have to do that. Um, the system is already pumped down and in high vacuum, um, so we won't concern ourselves with those controls at the moment. But here we have the filament selector, left, rear, and right. We're going to put it on left now. We have the filament current uh, indicator. We have the filament current control. And then down here we have filament power. So we're going to turn filament power to on. And then we can begin. Alright, now we will do a deposition with filament number two is the uh, rear one. So I'm going to turn the filament power on, slowly increase the current. And our boat will start to glow. Notice that the light went dark for a moment. The aluminum melted and dropped into the cup, and so it uh, cools the filament. The aluminum is melting and evaporating. And again, when you're done, you can turn down the current. You see that the filament is still glowing because of residual heat on there. Turn the filament power off. Move on to your next evaporation. We now evaporate with the right filament. So I move the selector switch to the right, turn the filament power on, and again slowly increase the current. drop down into our cup and our cup is heating up again. All the while evaporating aluminum. When we are done, simply turn down the power, turn the filament power off. You can see it cooling. on a 
left side. Selector switch is on the left. Turning the current up slowly. into the cup. Cup is reheating. You're evaporating aluminum all the while. done, turn the filament power to zero, turn the filament switch off, and our sample will cool down, or our evaporant rather. Next we are going to demonstrate the spinner which is installed into the vacuum atmosphere's blood box. Um, pictured here is the controller for that. It's programmable. You set the time and RPMs. On the right of that is the start stop button which can be used optionally. There is a foot pedal attached to the unit which can be used to start the process. On the left glowing is the power for the spinner. Move on up. Spinner is installed. Uh, assuming that you have the program set up the way you like. You can place a wafer on the vacuum chuck, press the pedal to start, it'll check the vacuum, and then it'll begin. process has stopped and